Hi, I'm Anne-Sophie Liberté. I'm going to talk to you about my poster on ineffective esophageal motility does not increase post-op dysphagia after total phone duplication. I do not have any disclosure. Ineffective esophageal motility has been described since the third version of Chicago. His name is confusing because it implies a higher risk of dysphagia. We hypothesize that IAM should not preclude the telephone duplication in otherwise normal patients. We look at more than 200 patients with IAM. 31 didn't have confounding factor of dysphagia or previous foregut surgery. All patients had the total phone duplication. Of nine patients with preoperative dysphagia, two had persistent postoperative dysphagia, and seven had resolution. Of 22 patients with had preoperative dysphagia, three developed postoperative dysphagia for a combined rate of 16% of postoperative dysphagia. None of the individual component of the manometric predict postoperative dysphagia. We look separately to the DEA, the DCI, the percentage of ineffective swallow, and the percentage of failed swallow. The presence of preoperative dysphagia increased slightly the risk to have postoperative dysphagia. The presence of IEM on preoperative assessment should not be an independent contradiction to total phone duplication.